Mr. Ma, thank you so much for joining us. Now, I know that you shared about industrial metaverse with other new champions at the, uh, of the World Economic Forum yesterday. What is the difference between industrial metaverse and the word that we're so familiar with, the metaverse? I think the most you know, significantly different is that uh, uh, it's, it's be uh, more uh, immersive. You just use a uh, building design software in 3D way. It's easier to use. We call it uh, anyone can access uh, any software anytime, anywhere. Based on that, we use this 3D engine, we use AI, we use blockchain, we use um, you know, uh, computing infrastructure uh, to, to provide service to industry. So we call it industry metaverse. We can help design a customized product more quickly designed and we can make the production session uh, more you know, efficiently. And by the end, we can manage and maintain the equipment and the product uh, very safely, comfortable and uh, low cost. So it's a full life cycle, digital cycle for industry product. Based on your experience, where do you think China is at for industrial metaverse in terms of its development and technological readiness? Well, I think not only China, but also other places for, for metaverse, of, especially for industrial metaverse, is that uh, we are in the face of finding the real value of this technology. But, but I'm, I'm kind of optimistic about this uh, trend, about this technology. I think in one or two years, this technology will meet the real customer requirement, must meet the real industry pain point. Uh, at that time, this technology will have the real value and the real you know, growth. So I think uh, the whole environment of, the, of this is industry is very good in China. Uh, and the government uh, provide a very good policy to uh, encourage uh, use uh, new technology in uh, manufacturing field. From our company, we feel a uh, very good uh, you know, advantage for that because in China we can, we can take grant or subsidiary from the government to do some uh, POC proof of concept uh, and then we take this advantage and to and copy the solution and the product overseas. So, for example, we go to Southeast Asia and uh, Middle East to, to you know, to duplicate our our solution and uh, and uh, product. Moreover, uh, the industry, Chinese industry, especially manufacturing, is the hub of the global manufacturing. So we have a lot of uh, customer only uh, Chinese. Uh, own uh, Chinese you know, local company, but also other company, their factory in China, we, we can provide service to them. So it's a big market you know, for us. Adding to that, do you think there is any other technological issues, technological problems that needs to be solved in order to have a better, ap uh, wider application of industrial metaverse? I think there is no big uh, hurdle or no, no big challenge in terms of technology right now because a uh, lot of uh, supporting technology uh, are kind of mature, are growing very quickly. The challenge for this industry is that uh, the industry or the company who want to use this technology they have to prepare a lot of things, not only its own uh, system uh, uh, management procedure, but also, but also the supply chain. For example, if they want to use a model, component model, in terms of uh, digital format or metaverse format, this model must be come from supplier. So if the supply chain upstream or downstream, they are not ready, fully ready, so this uh, deployment or this, uh, this technology uh, will not be you know, fully usage or applied in this industry. So I, I think it's kind of industry readiness, more in terms of uh, about the data alignment, model alignment and, uh, and the collaboration things.